<laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to Good Morning Toowoomba with Ben Apsey and... And I'm Daryl Nicholson, Toowoomba 4350 TV, more than just a postcode. And it's the 3rd of June, Wednesday the 3rd of June, the 72 days, mate, since Morrison announced um, closing pubs, clubs, gyms, to everything. So mm, and, still, and still quite a chilly day, so yep. 4 to 16 degrees and 20 to 30k an hour southwesterly winds mm-hmm. still, so people would be feeling that cold. They definitely would be, they definitely would be. And today on the show, one of my very favourite people in Toowoomba and uh, Tressa Lindenberg. How are you Tressa? I'm very well thanks Daryl and, and Ben, thanks for having me. No, Always a pleasure. Thanks for having us. So. Always a pleasure. <laughs> yeah, thanks for turning on the weather this morning, oh, it was look, great. Yes, no, it was, uh, it was like someone had opened the fridge door this yeah, morning. Right. <laughs> so we are just talking off camera before about COVID and how it has certainly changed things. Um, we went out last week to Doug out of Hampton Real Estate. We were yes. talking to him about yes. what's happening out there. He's getting a lot of inquiry from Bris Vegas and yes, yes. outside there. What's happening in Toowoomba? What sort of inquiry are you um, getting? Look, we, it's been very interesting. Like We were prepared for the worst, but that hasn't happened mm-hmm. yet. Um, we've got, we had probably two weeks out of all of this that our inquiry for rental properties stopped, ceased. Mm-hmm. Um, but now it's full on. We've got a, um, a, probably a... A 0.5% vacancy rate, which right. is very good. Yep. Um, when they come up, they go quickly. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're not seeing a big um, difference in that. What we are seeing, we are having some people inquire from out of town and mm-hmm. from the cities. It is a lot more affordable here. Oh, and, definitely. Yeah. You know, we are a little bit more COVID-proof, I think, if you call it, than mm-hmm. than the cities. You know, when when our um, when people lost their jobs and we still had to pay their rent, a lot of our rents were affordable to pay, especially mm-hmm. on JobKeeper. So we're looking at, you know, it, it's been not too bad for us. Excellent, mm-hmm. excellent. And um, one of the things you were talking about when that announcement was made that oh, tenants, you know, can't be yeah. evicted and da da da. Mm-hmm. And you told us off camera, but tell us one of the biggest measures you put in place with tenants and landlords. The, the biggest thing for us is. And we've, we probably run our business very much like this from, from day dot. Mm-hmm. Was communicate, communicate, and don't mm-hmm. stop communicating. And that was when the moratorium come down on that Sunday. I was um, quite anxious on the Monday morning as to what we would face. But, mm-hmm. you know, if, if we take the, ro- the, the um, I guess, the, the line that most people are reasonable, and they are, mm-hmm. that we will make it through so long as we can communicate. So mm-hmm. we had... Um, very distinct guidelines in place, mm-hmm. and we have happy to say that our vacancy rate is is very low, and our use rate is lower than it's ever been. Oh, excellent! Um, because of that reason, yep. so you know, it's one of the things that um, we we communicate with our owners every week, mm-hmm. just on exactly that, because they were very worried as well. And it's, it's oh, yeah. our owners; it's their their largest investors, uh, their largest investment property, and and the biggest, you know one they'll have probably in their lifetime. And being in real estate myself, I know some tenants think the owners just own the property, but they've got bank mortgages and yeah, insurances yeah, and rates. Yeah. And one of the on. things that we did hear a lot from some of our tenants, and not all of them, and most of our tenants are very good, and most people are very good, mm-hmm. but there was a perception that the the, um, the owners were getting a free ride. The banks were saying, mm-hmm. you know, you don't have to pay your mortgage. However, a lot of our owners are self-managed um, Super funds, mm-hmm. and that is their income. Yep. So you know, it is. We still have to pay um, rates. Yep. We still had to pay insurances, and we still had to maintain the property. Mm-hmm. No one was stopping that payment, yep. and so you know, we were. It was a. It was a bit from everyone. It was not a one pronged approach. Everyone had to give a little. We mm-hmm. we certainly did. We mm-hmm. dropped our um, our commission fees down mm-hmm. for three months. Okay. We were the first off the mark in that to make okay. sure that um, you know everyone was doing their share. Yeah, cool. Mm-hmm. And Ben, you sent me a long text message this morning, <laughs> and I, I it was just page, page, page. I think I scrolled about three meters. But tell us a bit about Morrison government new incentive that's really rough at the moment. Yeah. So um, rough estimates, are, it's a dollar for dollar scheme, up to twenty five thousand mm-hmm. dollars, and it's for significant home renovations. Okay. So it's not just for, I want to get new carpets or I want to do a, a paint job. Not DIY. DIY doesn't count at all. Okay. It's for it's for projects that involve multiple trades to keep trades in jobs. Okay. Um, so instead of doing a cash handout and for people that might be laid off, it's a way of keeping them in their job to start, you know, instead. Mm-hmm. So that's, uh, you know, maybe someone needs a new bathroom and it's not, and very specifically, not 
you know, the slapstick kit mm. bathrooms, not kit kitchens. It's proper trays in their building. Proper it's not a DIY. Mm. Yeah, proper cabinetry. Project. You know, decent, mm. decent bathroom renos. You know, completely rehashing electricians, plumbers, carpenters, painters, the whole lot. So sounds like it's an extension of job keeper, more or less, for the tradies. Yeah, so it's that trade. way of extending it out to the tradies, mm. so that they're staying in work, and that the construction industry, where a lot of jobs are trying to be created at the moment, are kept. So mm-hmm. I think that's a terrific idea. I did see that as well, mm. um, and been watching that very closely. That um, you know, our homes, especially over this, have become our castle more mm. so than ever. Mm. People yeah. are doing that, you know, if you look at Bunnings. <laughs> yeah. Well, Bunnings I, I know I've Williams, done quite a fair bit of DIY. Who hasn't that was, done that this yeah. time? And, you know, Bunnings has been, the line-up's been, been enormous, know, you know, yeah. trying to get in there. So people are wanting to do... It's been actually quite refreshing. We've mm. had a bit of a reset. We've, we've realised how much our homes mean to us yeah. and the people around us. We've had a, a step back to go, you know, I'd say 10 step forwards once we come out of it. Mm. Okay. Um, yeah, well, I've done a fair bit on my house, which you, you sold me. Yes, I did. Five hundred years ago. ago. So there you um, go. yeah, we've yeah. done we've done a courtyard. The gardens are all done up now, and the paint's been changed slowly. Um, but we're getting solar panels on the house oh, in a couple no. of weeks' time. So yeah. go so and solar. All those things will be fantastic. Yeah. Like if if we can keep it going that way, I think that's a much better way of of handing out dollars mm-hmm. rather than just the the free for all. Um, you know, I've never, I've done a lot of charity work and I'm a big no. believer in charity, mm-hmm. but there are some ways that um, we do charity that are uh, probably not the best way. Yeah, you know, yeah. I think uh, there's better ways to do it that mm-hmm. everyone can benefit. Is it the uh, hand up, not a hand out? Exactly yeah. right. You know, we're, we're big believers in that, as you know, through Rotary mm-hmm. and yeah. the other things that we do. is definitely the, um, the hand up is, is a better approach for everybody, mm. for everyone. Excellent. So, so you're in... You're in the old Harcourt's office. We are in the old Harcourt's office. back memories here for me. I've spent a lot of time doing cold calls and that um, at the the desk there. But it's beautiful here. This uh, this is the old Commonwealth Bank too. It is. It's the um, safest still out the back. I know. (laughs) (laughs) But we've been um, we've been very fortunate through all of this. I have to say we've probably we I made some significant changes to the business two years ago. And one of those changes, the major changes, was cloud based paperless. Mm-hmm. So going through all of this was, you know, was was gold for us. You know, yeah. it's not been, and we've always been a business that has nurtured our our management and our rent roll. Mm-hmm. So if sales drop off, we will still continue very strongly. Great. That's, um, that's been one of our things. But mm-hmm. I think you know, as far as sales go, if the property is right mm-hmm. for people, they will purchase if they yeah, can. That's right. It's it's always been the same. You know, the the homeowners. We'll always want to be homeowners yeah. and, and have a home to live in. Yeah. There you go. If I remember, it's 616 Rutland Street. It is. It is. Opposite yeah. the uh, beautiful Lexus showroom uh, mm-hmm. over the road. So pop in here, see um, Teresa and the team. And I just want to thank you for your time today. Really You're good to very catch up. Welcome. And I'm yeah. hoping to get back to rumours and back to our boxing days. Yes, um, well, big things for us. Start tomorrow yeah. is our first day back in the gym as That's well. That's right. I saw that. So We're doing training yeah. four till six, I yeah, think, Yeah, classes are booked out boxing, just about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's been, it's been good. It's, it's different, but mm-hmm. we're there and... You know, if you're going past, drop in for a coffee at yep. Smithy's Gym. We've yep. got a little coffee shop now. I think we might go up there next, mate, and yeah. say good day to Brendan. And I think you there. should. Yeah. Gee, he's done an amazing yeah. job. Yeah. We've been very yeah. resilient through all of well, this. Sovereign Property, 616 Ruthven Street, the old Commonwealth Bank, and the old uh, Harcourt building where my memories are here. I've spent a fair bit of time here. But anyhow, thanks for your time today. I'm Darren Nicholson, Tom, but 4350 TV, more than just a postcode. It's all about community. And thank you for joining us with Good Morning Tom. I'm Bouncy.